New Year is off to a rough start for BART. This train derailed between the Orinda and the Lafayette station around 9 o'clock this morning. Nine people were hurt, and there are a lot of questions tonight about how it happened and how long it's going to take for everything to be back up and running. Now, flames shot out from the train, forcing passengers to scramble to safety. BART says this happened in what they describe as an interlocking. That's basically a junction of two sets of tracks. They have a computer system. It's supposed to set the track alignment. Either the train just keeps going straight or it veers off onto the other set of tracks. But there was some kind of a problem with that system that eventually led to the derailment. That's the part that's still being sorted out. Max Darrow kicks off our team coverage and found that, thankfully, there may be less damage to BART's equipment than was initially feared. Crews will be working through the night to move the train and repair the tracks. Passengers who were on board when this BART train derailed and caught fire tell us they felt like they had to run for their lives. This was the aftermath of an Antioch-bound BART train derailing on New Year's Day. Passengers say the train came to an abrupt stop. They heard pops and then saw smoke and flames. Uh -huh. You know, I thought we were going to blow up. I thought we were going to die. You know how a car smokes and then explodes? We didn't want that to happen, so we we're like, we just got to run for our lives, literally. The crash happened about a half a mile from the Orinda BART station. While the cause is officially under investigation, BART spokesperson Jim Allison says the operations control center, which can usually remotely move the tracks, was not able to do so. They directed the train operator to stop the train, get out of the train, and to manually move the track into the proper alignment. The train operator did, in fact, get off the train, got back on the train, and when it began to move, that's when the derailment occurred. I asked him if train operator error contributed to the derailment. It's too early to say if it was train operator error, but that is certainly among the possibilities that we're looking into. Allison says it is standard protocol for BART PD to investigate. BART's safety department will as well. They'll do things like talk to the train operator, do the standard drug testing, and then the California Public Utilities Commission was out here earlier. They'll do an investigation and look into things as well. The train wasn't moving that fast at the time of the accident, says BART Board Director Deborah Allen. She says the fire sparked because of the train cars hitting the third rail. Nine people were taken to the hospital. We had to jump out of the, onto the tracks on the site. It was, it was, it was scary. We're told the nine people who were transported to the hospital are all expected to be okay. Crews are doing their best to make sure that they can have that track ready in some capacity when people go back to work in the morning. A lot is still up in the air. Our Kelsey Thord walks us through the process. BART officials say they are hopeful that at least some train operations will resume on Tuesday morning. It is unclear, though, exactly when they hope to have full operations back up and running, making for what could be a more complicated commute for some on Tuesday morning. After derailing around 9 a.m. Monday morning, a crane finally arrived on scene around 4.30 Monday night to move the derailed train and get it towed away from the scene. BART officials say in all, the process of clearing the tracks would take around six hours. And once um, the derailed car is back on the tracks, they'll attempt to tow it back to Concord Yard and then begin the track inspections and any repairs that are necessary to safely resume service. Officials say they are prepared to be out at the scene all night. You know, we typically do maintenance in the overnight hours, so we have all the equipment to do um, repairs and inspections, even if it's dark out. Officials say they are hopeful to have at minimum single tracking train service through the area Tuesday morning but are still encouraging anyone planning to take BART Tuesday to check their website for the latest updates before heading out. Obviously, we'll be working throughout the night to update it and keep it updated, but I can't tell you at uh, 4.30, 5 o'clock tonight whether we're going to have service or not definitively, but we will return to service as soon as it's safe to do so. In the meantime, officials say buses will continue to be available for passengers to ride between the Walnut Creek Station and the Rockridge Station. Now, the two left lanes of eastbound Highway 24 here were shut down while this crane moved that derailed train. Officials say they expect both of those lanes to reopen overnight, and they're not expecting any other traffic impacts with this incident.